Hey guys! Oh, this is a little extra video I decided to film today because I know I've had some comments in the past of people saying, hey, you're not in the comment section enough, and you know what, you're right. And uh, in the past, I'm guilty of saying, you know, it's overwhelming, there's so many comments, I can't respond to them all. So I decided, you know what, I should make a video, maybe once a week. Maybe once every couple days, you know what, a Trucker Josh responds type of video, you know? Go through some of the comments with you guys and uh, answer them on camera. So let's go through a few here. I'm on my my page here. Look at Josh and Diesel. That's me. Okay, let's go to Video Manager and let's uh, pull up a video here. Let's say I just spent half an hour. No, I spent an hour just going through the comments of today's video. MLD. Uh, what is it, 109? Litterbug? Answering every single comment in there. I wish I had time like this every day to do this, because it's fun interacting with you guys, right? That's what YouTube's all about, it's about interaction. Okay, let's go to the load fell through vlog. How about that? Let's open up some comments in here. Well, I've already responded to a lot of these. Well, I'll answer them again. Just a little bit. Let's see... Someone asked me a question, will I be able to bring my truck home? Ricky Julian, with a picture of the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> Is that really Ricky? Is that really you, man? So it's not sure if I missed it or not, but can you bring your new truck home? Or your truck home to your new place? Yes, that's the whole reason I bought my new place, is because I want to bring my new truck home to my house and skip the whole part of moving everything into my car, then my house. And eventually one day I'm going to build a shop in the back. Instead of wintertime, my truck and my fuel can stay warm when I'm at home enjoying home time. The next one here is uh, the Garage Files. When are you getting the APU? And I already answered there, it's in the air right now. Uh, what I mean by that is, I don't know if I am going to get an APU on this truck after all. You know, I'm so back and forth with it. I know I really want one. I know it would save me in the long run. But honestly, with my truck nearing 2 million kilometers and nearing 1.2 million miles, an APU is an auxiliary power unit. It pretty much keeps my engine, my cab, and everything warm in wintertime. And in summertime, it's the opposite. It keeps my cab cool without the truck idling, right? You save like 75% of your fuel or more or something like that. And uh, yes, I want an APU, but I think I'm going to wait till I get a new truck. Because I'm probably not going to be in this truck forever. Unless if I rebuild the engine. If I do an in-frame rebuild, yes, then I would put an APU on the truck. Absolutely. But I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I'm going to keep this truck, right? So, uh... I am going to keep it for at least a year, right? I'd like to keep it for two years, but if I get a new truck after that, I'll just buy a, a different truck with an APU already installed on it, right? Uh, but right now, my mind is just focused on moving all of this stuff into my new house. So I'm not really thinking about an APU right now. Maybe I'll reconsider it after I'm all settled into my house. We'll see. But for now, I'm sort of thinking it might not be worth it. It might not pay off because you sort of have to have the APU for at least two, three years for it to pay for itself, right? So we'll see. Uh, Zantec? Are you not allowed to film at the border? Honestly, I've never heard any laws against it, but I'm sure there are laws against it. They're government officials uh, doing official government business, and you don't want to give them any reason to hassle you, because they have every right to hassle you, and you can't say anything about it. Uh, a lot of them, I think, know who I am when I cross the border. I'm suspicious of it, because they give me that look. Some of them are like, hey, Trucker Josh. I don't know if they're just saying that because it says Trucker Josh on my door, or if they actually uh, know who Trucker Josh is. But still, if I'd be recording at the border, I think I would be infringing on some kind of law or something. It just makes me very nervous. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend anyone else to do it either. Uh, turn the cameras off and put them away before they can pick up who's in the booth, right? Does that make sense? Shouldn't film at the border. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's. Do you see your comment here? I'm. Re I have read them all already. Yeah. 
Yeah, this guy here, Daniel Oaks. Says the flying hook in Winchester. We're talking about how they do not like it if you park outside the lines in Winchester. I was very disappointed with the way they treated me the one time I went there. Because usually, sometimes you're all guilty of it. When the truck stops full, we sort of make a spot. Some drivers are very bad at making a spot. You're supposed to be out of the way of everyone else so that you're not interfering with any of the truck stop traffic that you can still get through both ways, right? You know what I mean, common sense. Some people block things, block people in, that's annoying, don't do that. But I was way out of the way in the back corner alongside the curb, two lanes of traffic could still get past me, one in each direction, no, oh, that was good to go. I was sleeping already. They came and banged on the side of my truck door. I rolled down the window, I was like, what do you want? <laughs> They're loud. And they cursed me up and down and were very rude, told me to get out of there in not s in a few more words. And uh, I told them, honestly, I'm out of hours. I can't legally move this truck. And well, they threatened to tow me with me in the vehicle. And I said, you can't do that. They said, well, in the state of Virginia, we can, blah, 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 adding a few choice words in there again. I was very disappointed with the customer service at the Flying J in Winchester, Virginia. Uh, they could have handled that better. All they had to do was just explain to me in a nice, calm voice, you know what, here we just don't appreciate if you park over here. Like, there's another parking spot or another parking lot there. You can go here, you can go there, give us options. But when I told him I can't legally move, he cursed me up and down and said he didn't care. I don't want to talk too much about them. I was very disappointed with the Flying J in Winchester, Virginia. Very rude staff there. And uh, even the manager came out and wasn't much better. He wasn't cursing, but yeah. What are, what are we supposed to do as truck drivers when you park? And you know you're out of the way and you legally can't move your truck. You can't go on public roads, yet they force you off their property. And then you go into their, their store and the big sign on the door says, Welcome professional drivers. We serve professional drivers, here to serve you, and all this stuff. You really don't care about the professional drivers, do you? Anyways, I don't want to go on about that. Uh, he just brought that up in it. I never go there anymore. I never stop at Winchester Flying J anymore. I do not need to be treated like that at the end of my day. Uh, Chris, 32898, what kind of dog is Diesel? A lot of you ask this. What kind of dog is Diesel? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know his dad was a purebred Rottweiler and his mom was a mutt. She was uh, part Border Collie, part Lab, part something else. I don't know. But he's mostly Rottweiler, Border Collie, and Lab. That's Diesel. So, uh, I know Ed Crowley, answer to your Rottweiler and German Shepherd. Yeah, I, it, he could have some German Shepherd in him too. I think I've said that before, so he's right. It, Rottweiler German Shepherd would be a good way to try but If you guys ever see people asking that in the comments, go ahead and answer for me. I won't mind, just like Ed did here. Uh, that's good. I like it when you guys answer questions for me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be lazy, but sometimes I just can't get around to answering them, or for some reason it's doesn't, I don't see it. I try to see everything. I usually do see everything, but some days are just like super busy days, right? And I appreciate when you guys do know the answer when you answer on there. Respectfully answer, like Ed did here. He just it was very nice. Thank you, Ed Crawley, for uh, answering that for me. I do appreciate when people do that. Uh, let's see. Wait a second, wait a second. Danny Hansen. Josh, can you show more of you backing into the dock if you can? Love seeing your vlogs. Thank you very much. That's a very good idea. I, I need to start uh, messing around with my camera angles again. I know I had stopped doing that in wintertime because it's just too cold to go out there and set up all these cameras and uh, in rainstorms, you can't see anything anyways. Uh, and this summer I've been so consumed with this whole moving thought and everything that uh, I guess it's just been stressing me out a little bit. I'll get on that for you. I'll get on that for you. I have to be very careful because I signed a contract with who I work for that I do not show any of the customers that we deliver to, right? That's revealing sensitive private information uh, of contracts that we have, right? And they do that for a specific reason, right? They don't want the whole world knowing what their bread and butter is. You know, people are dogs out there. It's dog eat dog, especially in the trucking industry, dog eat dog. Uh, if people find out you're making money, they'll try to do everything they can 
to come take that money away from you and take it for themselves, right? Terrible world we live in sometimes. Uh, Norman McKenzie, road, 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 road. Road, 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 road to you too. Road, road. I like the road. I do. Road, road. Road, 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 road. Road. Let's see, what else do we got here? Should be showing you this, what I'm looking at. Uh, don't feel sorry for your employer. Where is it? There. Boy, hi, Richard. Don't feel sorry for your employer. I used to do that, and it came back to bit me. But yeah, some employers, they'll take advantage of their employees. Uh, I, however, like who I work for a lot. They're not just friends and employers. They're, they feel like family. That's my work family. Uh, they treat me really, really well there. And so I want to return the favor to them. See, I do feel bad when I can't be there for them, when they need me to do something. And I, I'm sorry, I got to move, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I know vlogger fair and moving happens in the same month, two weekends in a row. And I hate doing that to them because they do so much for me. They're always there for me. Like, I never have to chase them down for a layover. They usually tell me, oh, hey, you were sitting here for so-and-so time. Hey, we're going to pay you a layover. Like, cool. Sweet. They chase me down to pay me the layover. Hey, I'll take money. All right. <laughs> uh, dispatch is very on the ball. I have great dispatchers. Uh, there's a great guy uh, leading the company, great president, the great director of operations. Like, I can't say enough about how much I like this country and this isn't product placement or a brand deal or anything like I don't have to say anything about them if I don't like them but I choose on my own will to say they're a great company to work for I love them so yeah this was just a quick little video that I wanted to do to engage with you guys a little bit and interact a little bit because I have an hour or two today so I figured you know what let's answer some questions let's talk to them let's get out of the regular norm of the everyday vlog and let's do something different Let's uh, answer some questions. So what I want you guys to do is uh, down below, if you guys have any questions that you want to know about me, that's what this comment section is for in this video. And my next question and answer video will be answering questions from in this video. You know what I mean? So I don't know how often I'll be able to do these. I'd like to do them once a week, maybe twice a week. We'll see. Trying new things out. Always trying new things out. So yeah, if you got a question for me, uh, if I can answer it, whatnot, I'll make another video next week, and I'll do my best to answer it then. Okay guys, thanks for watching this, I'll see you next time.